Okay, I think what we need to do, we're in heavenly places. Teresa, I'm going to need your help here. Okay, uh, I don't know if we're going into the pink or purple bubble bath in the pool, uh, but I'm going to need your help. I'm just giving you a little heads up, okay? <laughs> we're in the heavenly places, right? Yes, the answer is yes, Mark. We are in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> we're in heavenly places <clears throat> if you don't mind let's just jump in the pool just jump in the river and let's splash in the goodness of the Lord and all the well his promises are yes and amen and all the I've given you everything pertaining to life and godliness or in everything give thanks you know, let's just splash in that a little bit. I'm going to jump in, Therese, if you don't mind. And let's just see if the Lord gives us a little tangent to go out on and see if he might lead us somewhere. All right. So we're going to get into the good stuff. <laughs> Lord, oh, you are watering our hearts. You're drawing our eyes up higher than the world around us or even ourselves, we are finding ourselves in this wonderful place of being in the river of God. The river of God, oh, it feels good. Just like Neil went swimming today in the Pacific Ocean this morning, but I have a feeling your river's gonna feel a little bit warmer than 50 degrees. But anyway, Lord, we're jumping in this river of God. Here we go. This stream, this river that flows out from the throne, Ezekiel's river, flows out from the throne. And pretty soon, it's up to the ankles, and then up to the uh, uh, knees, and then up to the thigh. And then pretty soon, you just got to jump in. You just got to swim. And it's so good. Now, Lord, we've done this a few times, and just going to be childlike here enough to just say why not go ahead and get our head under also we're swimming why not just go down into the river and Lord in this river there's no need for oxygen we can breathe this wonderful breath of God the very presence of God what's in this river Lord all the delectables, all the tasties, all the wonderful, <clears throat> scintillating, stimulating promises of God and the thoughts of God which are rich and they add no sorrow. They only add the joy of the Lord. We feel your delight washing all over us. It's marinating us. It's bringing us into this oneness. Oh, there's a transformation taking place right now. Maybe, Lord, even as powerful as a transfiguration taking place right now. We're being conformed into your very image. As Paul said, till Christ be formed in you. Oh, it's happening. Lord, and it's not just on the outside of us now. Oh, it's beginning to permeate, infiltrate, invade. It's taking over. Oh, yeah, Lord, the promises of God, which are yes and amen. In all the things that you've given us pertaining to life and godliness are being infused into our mind and our thinking. Yes, our mind is being adjusted. Faulty, outdated thoughts and mindsets are being pushed out. And my mind is being upgraded with God inside of me is more than enough. Your presence inside of me is more than enough power to live on top of whatever mountains might present themselves to me. 
you, Lord, in your favor and your joy over me. Make me strong for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Lord, all of these are being marinated into me until I think like you, talk like you, smell like you, feel like you. My default is you. My default thinking, my default speaking, my default acting is like you. Thank you, Lord. Anybody want to...